Double 16 for an unlikely 3-1 lead against a man who hasn't lost Game shot on the fourth in his last 13 Nico matches. Boom. That run might come to a crashing end. And look at Thibaut here. He's, he's completely unsettled. Who survived nine darts for a 2-0 deficit earlier in the game. And he's 32. coming back. Nico Yuka, 18. Double nine. And he's missed Ten. his chance, not Nico once, Yuka, 16. not twice, but thrice. You do not want to do that against Tibor. No score. Maybe Nico he Yuka, can eight. get away with it, though. It is a doubles disaster for the Frenchman. Thibaut Tricol has missed 14 darts at the outer ring. Double four for Bloom. The first one's a mile away, but the second one's in. And that is an almighty shock to start the Super Series evening. Finals night of week one of Series 6. And Nico Bloom, the big underdog in Group 1, has thrashed the favourite Thibaut Tricol 4-1. He just could not get going, never woke up. Average just over 70 and missed 14 darts at double. A nightmare start for the Frenchman, who is going to have to beat Harry Ward later on this evening. Bloom off to the perfect start. Coming next in Group 2, Jared Cole faces Willie. Does he go 25 again? Because he doesn't have to. Double 11 is an option. Double six, well found. I suppose you'd have to call him at the... Hey, Look forward to seeing how Scotty Dog gets on on the Super Series stage. Double five Game here. And Willie Borland Willie is Borland. getting on very, very, very well indeed. Willie and he may find himself suffering the same fate as Thibaut Tricol. The winner of Group A lost 4-1. 19 needed for a dart of the ball. And he nails it. Match, really and just like the winner of Group A, the winner of Group B has been beaten 4-1 in the opener. A big win for Big Willie, who conquers the king of the castle, Jared Cole. A 4-1 success. And Borland is in a very strong position for when he takes on Charlie Large in a couple of games' time. An average of around 85, 4 out of 7 on the doubles. Cole had the exact same amount, but could only find one. So, as I said, Borland will be back against Large in two games. But before then, Nico Bloom could go through if he beats Harry Ward. Break of throw, and this Nico is a big 82. shot. And it was actually the same shot that qualified him when he needed that one leg in Group C. 17 for tops. And Game Nico Bloom the is Nico the first semi finalist in Moda's Super Series 6. Flower Power has upset the odds. Ends up being a decent result for both players. Bloom through, having won the two legs he needed to win. And Game Harry Ward's going to have plenty match. to Harry play Ward. with when he takes on Thibaut Tricol, who looks like he's in a whole heap of trouble now in Group 1. The Frenchman, much fancied the Group A winner, is going to have to get a massive win against Harry Ward to go through. Nico Bloom will not have to worry about that. Despite losing that game, he is through to the semi-finals. Harry Ward hoping to follow him. And following the break, it will be Willie Borland against the hometown hero, Charlie Large. Right, a big finish on offer now for Charlie. It's not going to happen. Can he apply some pressure just to rattle the cage of Willie Borland? Well, he does 14. exactly that. Willie Carr, 16. He yeah, wasn't rattled. And that's really interesting that he does that against Charlie. Willie Carr, 42. And Willie Borland has a real opportunity here. Double 18. Becomes double 9. Game shot and Willie Borland Willie is Borland. in the semi finals. He's done enough. Exactly like Nico Bloom in the previous game. He can afford to lose. He can afford to lose 4 2 or 4 3. Game so shot on the it comes down to a last leg. Charlie Large. Squares things up with Willie Borland, and this could be a huge leg. It goes from being a group game to a knockout game. We've done another treble to leave a finish. 95. Can't get the required one. 41. So this is for Borland to double his win tally for the night and secure group victory. Game he is the table topper. Willie Borland. Willie Borland.
gets a job done in both of his group two games a 4-1 win against jared cole is followed by a 4-3 victory against charlie large who played some decent stuff in that game stop that from happening he will needs double 16. game shot on the second line there we go Keep one three down goal. three to go the 255 was 19 the right player there well doesn't matter if it was the right player it didn't pay off shake of the head from Thibaut Tricoli thinks the game is up game and it is Harry Ward, Harry Ward is into the semi-finals Big H will be in the knockout stage as Tricol throws his darts aside he knows tonight has been from his first game to the next basically two hours on the hockey or two hours in the practice room 125 and it's done well he's ended up leaving seven there He's trying to hit a 25 to leave himself on 32. Seven. Well, you let you left seven, and he's hit seven. The fifth so it's Keep three, two, three call. He might even leave us with a victory. But Game shot I don't think he's Keep elated because he has won the match, but unfortunately, he has lost the war on this one, and he leaves the stage desolate because it's big eights that goes through. And it's Nico Bloom who has won the group. Miraculously, it's the first group he's won this week. Will he win the night? He'll have to stay with us to see what he's like in the semi-finals. And he will now play in semi-final number one. And it will be against someone from group two. But who will it be? I'd really like to hit it because he's going to leave something in the way of tops if it's two singles. Well. Okay. Had to go 15 ball. We can't find the ball. And Charlie, Charlie Large 56. now has the biggest opportunity of the evening. You'd have to say if he hits this, it's Cole who's got the uphill task. What a marker that is. Yeah. And Green fabulously the used by the local Large. boy. Means that the bullseye beckons at the end of this shot. He doesn't need the bullseye. He needs double 14. Yeah. And he nails it. And the mark. A Charlie flashy Lodge. finish from Charlie Large. He gets them all cheering because he is in the final four. Large seals a semi final place and will be on that stage in his hometown, their hero in the final four, and maybe even beyond that. And in the end, it's a very, very respectable showing from Charlie Large. A 93 average, four out of 10 on the doubles. And that spectacular 1-2-1 checkout to win it. Charlie Large completes the semi-final lineup. Miss on double Nicole 16 Lucas gives Nico Bloom a chance of 2-0, continually averaging in the mid-70s. Big, deep breath. Game big dart, the second big moment, Bloom. big break from Nico Bloom. And now Charlie Large has it all to do. One way, double 16 for Charlie. Now he wants to collide into those darts and into the Nicole. bed. He can't do it. Nico, you can nine. This goes to show. Sometimes you need to give your opponent a little bit of space. That's what the yellow line's for. He's getting a little bit of encouragement. It'll be okay. You'll do it. And again, he steps back. This time, Charlie's taking a pace back wisely. Yes. Game show and a big, play. big Nico bellow Bloom. from Nico Bloom after finally getting over the line in that leg. Well, he... he... But it might be in three darts. Well, that leaves double 12. Accidental double... Then winning Shot double, Nico and Bloom. Nico Bloom is very, very happy about it. Disappointment for Charlie Large and his entourage who are cheering on his performances tonight. Fantastic for him to get to the semis in his hometown of Portsmouth, but it's Nico Bloom who has made his way to the final. Such a remarkable turnaround in his week on his return from a break from darts but he's beaten charlie large on home turf 4-1 and we'll find out who we will play after the break when willie borland goes up against harry ward
seven to four out of 23. This trend of him playing and his output decreasing as the night goes on or, or the day goes on, it continues 42. to happen. Car, it can't continue to happen from here. Well, there's been nothing Game thrown at him the in the leg. opening leg, and he's had a great opening leg there. Willie Borden, 14 dart reply. Nice 45 in the middle of those two 180s. Nice consistency, but it could be a 96 at the end of the leg. Game that is a wonderful leg. leg of darts. How often do you see a 12 darter with a 45 in it? Not very often. Now we've started, haven't we? This is a proper Perfect match. 26 darts. Game on. But six Have seven, but it's the next best thing. One three three on off of how rewarded. It may well have to go straight in the treble twenty, straight in the treble nineteen, Game and straight the in way. the double eight. How what a shot, and what a time to get it. If he misses that, he's probably facing the exit door Did in the face. Really and others. What are the days? Oh, management are going to like that, and Willie is as well. Another star they have is a certain Nathan Gervin. 138. Who Will hails from 82. Scotland. Who has played here before. Double top. And Green Boland hits the, the front line. again. For the wonderful 15 data. Match data tops. Green and it's the only one he needs. Willie again Boland. in the final four. Big H does not make the final. But Willie Boland will contest the final against Nico Bloom. Two players who played on Monday morning and have had very, very long weeks. But there's only one game left for both of them. It's Match starter tops. Yeah. And it's the Stop only one he needs. Willie Again Boland. in the final four. Big H does not make the final. But Willie Boland will contest the final against Nico Bloom. Two players who played on Monday morning and have had very, very long weeks. But there's only one game left for both of them. It's for two and a half thousand extra pounds and for the weekly title and an invitation to Champions Week. That one is won by Boland by four legs to two. The final is imminent. Here you can see Boland 91-86. And look at the doubling as well. And when you get your best check out with your last three darts, that makes you feel very, very good indeed. Harry Fields in the final four once again, but Willie Boland has got another game coming up and we'll find out soon enough if he's got the darts because he has a bullseye shootout to contest right now. We'll be back for the break with the final. Charlie Willie Large, it looks like his table has been Game vacated and flag. replaced by someone who's here next week. Anton Erstland's on there now, but Willie Borland could be here again in this series himself. Double 16. Game shot on the Very well hit. We have a level fine. What's well, one treble 18 to get a go at the bull. His favourite double. 97. But he can't quite 40. find it. And that might be the difference between Failure and success. Yeah. Huge for Boland as he takes a two-leg cushion into leg number five towards the finishing line. Game. And Josh wonderful Willie wins it. The Motor Super Series, Series 6, Week 1 winner, Willie Boland. Boland with a big performance in the final. Bags a place. At Champions Week, the first one from Series 6. Fantastic stuff from the Scotsman who gets over the line. An emphatic final performance in the end. A 4-1 win against Nico Bloom. It only took under eight minutes in the end for that performance to be completed. Such is the speed of the Scotsman and the standard he produced in that final. An average of more than 90. Four out of six on the doubles in that game and Willie Borland has capped off a week in which he celebrated his birthday with the perfect present a 4-1 success in the final over Nico Bloom he put out Charlie Large earlier in the evening a semi-final win against the hometown hero who did himself proud Bloom as well this resurgence this return to darts he's done really well the runner-up of the week but the winner is 
Willie Borland. Indeed, he is Willie Ball, and many congratulations. The first man through to Champions Week, a first weekly win here at the Super Series. Just sum up how you're feeling right now. Uh, honestly, buzzing. Obviously, Nico played a blinder there. Obviously, it's good to see him back, as I said, you know what I mean? Um, being away for a few years and coming back to do this, Nico has to, the hats off to him. But I'm just happy to get the win, and I'm, I'm buzzing now. So, Let's just talk about yourself for a couple of minutes, because... It felt like in that final you were saving your better stuff for the game that mattered, and especially in the semi final. It felt like your, two of your strongest performances of the week came in two of the big games. No, definitely, you know what I mean? As I said, like, with the way the draw went, obviously playing Harry in the semi, me and Harry were battling it out, and I was thinking to myself, if you, if you come through this game, you've got like, such a big chance to like, get to Champions Week and stuff, so you know, obviously I needed to continue to do what I was doing, so now. Just happy to get through that game and obviously produce some good darts in the final, so I'm happy. We've seen you here throughout the duration of 2023. We've seen you hit the post a couple of times. How does it feel now you're going to, in a couple of seconds, get your chance to hold that cup? How's that, how's that moment going to feel for you? No, it's, honestly, it's brilliant. You know what I mean? I've felt at the, hard, the final hurdle so many times in like challenge tours, etc. To get, like, this is a massive one for me and obviously coming up to a massive time in darts for obviously myself from where I want to be. I'm just happy to get my name on this trophy and I'm happy. And how much of a confidence boost can this be going into that end of 2023? Of course, Q School coming in January as well. How much can you use this to, to build a bit of momentum for yourself? No, apart from this, obviously, apart from playing down here, you've only got local competitions in Scotland. And like without, again, without being disrespectful, there's only a handful of players where it would push your game, you know what I mean? You know who you need to beat and who's going to like, be a tough game for you to win local comps. So playing here is massive, a massive confidence booster going into Q School in January. And I suppose no matter what now, 2024 is going to look promising because even if you don't get the card at Q School, you know you're going to come back here in February for Champions Week. No, definitely, you know what I mean? As I said, obviously, I'm not going to look too, too far into it. Obviously, I want my card back. Obviously, if it doesn't happen, obviously, come back here for Champions Week. I'm just looking forward to playing against the best players, no matter where I'm playing. Right, let's forget about the future for a second. <laughs> let's focus a bit more on the here and now, because that is yours. I'm going to take that microphone off. You're going to let you have the opportunity to lift that trophy. I'll take that mic off you, Willie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your first player through the Champions Week is Big Willie, Willie Borland. He's a happy man, isn't he? And he's got one or two friends. He has got one or two friends. He's a happy man, Willie Borland. And why wouldn't he be? He's the first player through to Champions Week. I'm going to bring the asset, Paul Nicholson, on stage to have a chat with me about everything that we've seen this week, and, and in particular that final, because Willie Borland in Group A was... You can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sneak it off the stage. Um, in, in Group A, he was... He took the early ascendancy, but Thibaut Tricol was a man on a mission. But when it came to the clutch matches tonight, Willie Borland was the man for the occasion. There are a lot of players who are going to go back to their accommodation tonight and think, I could have won tonight if I just turned up. And you've got to give Nico Bloom a lot of credit because he didn't play his best stuff, but still found his way to the final. He showed more in the final than he did all night, but one player showed consistency tonight. And I am someone who has leveled criticism at Willie for the fact that he hasn't done that. But his level of performance was better than anybody tonight, especially in the semis and final, where he averaged over 90 both times, the scoring was good, and he was vibrant. He was full of life, and that's what you need to have to win a title here on a weekly basis. Could this just be the kickstart of something here for Willie? Yes, I think it has to be. Because if you think about what's happened since that famous nine data, he's been going downhill. And I think the amateur dart circuit deserve a lot of credit for what's happened with Willie because he's got a lot of tournaments to play up in northern uh, Scotland. And it's given him this ability to go and play and get sharp. And I think there's more sharpness needs to be found. And if he's going to find it, then if he comes back for Champions Week, if he gets a tour card, it's all good for 2024 for Willie Ball. And this could well be what just kickstarts him back again. It's just a touching moment behind your shoulder, Nico, where Willie, Thomas Banks and Nico Bloom all in conversation with one another, which is, which is really nice. And it actually epitomises the, uh, the spirit, doesn't it, that the, the Super Series is played in? The young spirit. 
Think about the average age of the players who are actually speaking to each other right now, and this is great for the sport. Think about what Thomas Banks uh, at his age is doing. Look at what Luke Littler has done here. And then we've had other players under the age of 20. They're all swarming on Portsmouth to get big money to give themselves their own kickstart into whatever they do next. As for Nico Bloom, he's in full dirt, he's in light and dirt, he's dazzled us all week. Final just again too far in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. He put up a great fight, though. He, he put in big scores that he hadn't done all night. And I think he was dragged along by the brilliance of Borland at times. And ultimately, it was just a step too far. But this is a real kickstart for him because if this doesn't light his fire to play more darts in Germany and beyond, I don't know what is, frankly, because it might just give him the buzz back. Good first night to have in Champions Week, though, Willie Borland. Yeah, not bad at all. Double for Scotland over the course of, well, eight days. And uh, Andy Bolton, if you're watching this, it's up to you to do the triple next week. May have a juicy wiggle in all. Right, Paul, it's been a pleasure to have your company. No juicy wiggles from you, please. <laughs> Well, we're going to be back on Monday morning from half past nine. That man's going to be in the chair alongside Chris Mason for all of the action from week two. But as far as week one is concerned, it's Big Willie who secures the big W. He picks up the trophy and it's through to Champions Week.